Okay, hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna make a video about the platinum filter from Napa and also if uh, I use the neodymium magnets on the outside of the housing um, to, sus to hold the magnets in place all I used was uh, electrical tape and uh, it worked out just fine like um, it never burned up or any of that it didn't shrink so yeah electrical tape gets the job done but besides that that was just to hold the magnets for just in case if they did fail or fall off during the road so as you could tell I kind of I kind of smeared it but right there is um where one of the neodymium magnets was and just ignore the shavings around that was from when I was cutting the oil can and this uh th that's another another magnet neodymium magnet I had on and then uh, but that's pretty much it like the other shavings is from when I was cutting the the whole can open and then this is the filter media um, this is the full synthetic uh, filter from Napa Planum and also Wix XP this is the same product that's plastic right well actually I don't know if it's plastic but that's like the what's it called the bypass spring there you go this is the silicone gas uh, anti drain back valve I mean it's still flexible I mean, I only used it for 2,000 miles, and this filter could go for 15,000 miles, so it's barely a fraction of... I mean, I could I could use it for more, but I'd rather just change it. And then this is also the base plate. The thing I like about these uh, Napa Platinum filters and wicks is that the threads right there, it has more threads than, like, your Fram... Uh, the main filters I typically use, well, actually, recently I've gotten into Wix since I've seen videos, but uh, I normally run the STP ones from AutoZone, but um, it's been a while now uh, since these are better quality. I mean, they still get the, the same job done, but I'd rather just have a quality product. And so, yeah, this is uh, one of the filters. And then the I think the other filter that has a lot of threads well, obviously the Wix uh, and Napa Platinum have the have a lot of threads, but also the Pure Later Boss. I always try to get the synthetic uh, oil filters. It's just a better, better quality product. So, pretty much it. So this is also a review on this filter, which served its job. It did its job well. And uh, I mean, I don't drive that much in the city, but I do push my car pretty hard. But besides that, mm, I mean, you can't feel it. You can't feel it when the, when the oil gets filtered, but like you could see like a before and after, like from brand new until when you do do an oil change. So what I recommend using magnets on, on your oil filter I mean, if you drive longer, uh, if you would drive like maybe 5,000 miles, um, I mean, I guess it would help a little bit, but it wouldn't be a, it's not, it's not like a large amount of metal particles like iron, since it's magnetized, to harm an engine. Uh, it's perfectly safe, uh, even without magnets, but... Um, well, the magnets, I mean, it did magnetize, but that's not a large amount, so it's barely a film. So that's pretty much it. And then also about the, you can't see it, but this filter is wire backed. It has like a wire mesh inside of it. And then that's pretty much it. Silicone, full synthetic media, a thick base plate, this gasket. Let me try it. I tried taking it off earlier. And it's pretty tough, but oh, there we go. Ugh. I would say this did kind of harden a bit after the 2000 miles. Last time I did an oil change was in October 2017, and now it's uh, the middle of January 2018, so like three months. And um, so, yeah, this is it. I don't want to make the video too long, but I just want to show you guys. 
Should you use magnets? You can if you want, but it would it wouldn't make much of a difference. But if if it's a peace of mind for everyone else, then just do it. It it would magnetize that, so if you don't want that in your engine, then just do it. Uh, that's pretty much it. The sp the spring, the retainer. This is a normal spring instead of a stamped piece of steel. That's pretty much it. I don't want to bore you guys. I mean, there's plenty of videos of Wix filters, Napa filters out there. So same old thing. It's just um, it's a good product. I, I would highly recommend this. The magnets, you don't have to, but if you want, go ahead. I'm not gonna do it again. It's just uh, I mean, it's not a big waste of time, but. Uh, I don't find it like a large amount of metal that would damage an engine. The other metal shavings, man, this camera doesn't focus. The other metal shavings around, that's from when I was cutting it, if I forgot to mention. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you, YouTube. Hope you enjoy the video. This is just an impromptu video. Like, I made it randomly since uh, I just wanted to check it out and just uh, speak my thoughts of what I think. So thank you YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, I mean I only do videos like of car maintenance, mostly oil and oil filters, so that's pretty much it. Thank you YouTube, have a good day.